In there, there's the shiny stuff. Oh, wow, look at this. I was judged by the Dillman's Club to be one of the 12 dullest people in America. It is so high, 650 feet. We're Marion and Chris. In 2018, we quit the nine to five and bought Trudy, our camper van. We are currently on an adventure to drive the circumference of the world. We survived the night. There was no knocks at the door last night. So we stayed here uh, in the car park of Home Depot. Not really the ideal place to sleep in the middle of a city, but hey ho, these things happen when you're traveling full time and it doesn't always go according to plan. But today we thought as we we're in Santa Fe, we thought it's nearly lunchtime. We should probably go and find some food, find some park up, do a little bit of shopping. I'm just putting the chocks under the seat where they belong. And I've noticed we've still got all this very fine white sand from our times in white sands. She needs a bit of a brush out. Don't judge my housework. <laughs> <laughs> coming into the center of Santa Fe and they've got like these, I suppose they, they look a bit like mud houses. Yeah, they must be to keep the heat out during the fierce heat of summer. Although we are 2,000 meters up. Maybe also to keep the heat in. <laughs> in the it winter. <laughs> Maybe. Of winter. So we've found this parking lot, thanks uh, to our friend Sam and Andy for recommending this. Uh, there's a parking lot here with lots of different food trucks. They probably think we're going to set up in competition. <laughs> a, there's an ice, ice cream, cream truck? truck just arrived. Well, I'm excited. Oh, they have got little tables when there. Why are you not excited about food? This is <laughs> the reason that we love each other. It's all about food. We've got oh, Thai, we've got pizza. We got tacos, we got donuts, and we got barbecue. Marianne's thinking about the pizza. These yeah. guys, look, they make their own fresh bread. They got the wood-fired oven. Their own noodles, their own doughs. <laughs> it's all fresh here. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> so what have you got? I got some Thai curry here, and I have to say, look at this. This. I've been, I haven't had Thai food for so long and uh, I saw this truck and thought I just have to try that. So we've got some Thai curry. So you can see it's got like spices, some carrots, some kaffir lime leaves. Oh my goodness, the flavors of this are going to be fabulous, I can tell already. <laughs> oh yeah. Those are good familiar flavors. I love food trucks. $12, you get a good hearty home cooked meal. And we've met some new friends joining us for lunch. You got the Thai as well. Are you enjoying that? He got the pineapple fried rice. Oh my goodness. Thank you, enjoy it. Thank you. That looks amazing. All I'm gonna say is that this smug face <laughs> is because I chose the freshly made pizza and it smells like I'm in an authentic Italian restaurant. It smells delicious. I've got artichokes, hearts, I've got peppers, I've got aubergine, I've got caramelized onions. I've got some little crushed flakes there, but the dough is, look at that, it's so firm and crunchy and crispy and thin, just the way I love it. Mm. <laughs> happy wife, happy life, that's happy what life. I say. Perfect, with just enough garlic. That is lush. I got some strawberry cake stuff. But what happened was, Marianne went up and asked for it. They got tiramisu on the menu at this pizza place. Marianne went up and asked, and he said, I'm very sorry, we've run out of tiramisu. But so what does the guy do? He jumps into his car, he drives across town to his restaurant, he gets a portion of tiramisu and is even on a plate with two forks. This man not only has great service, but knows how to make a man's wife happy because there are two forks. There's two forks. Oh my goodness, look at that. Layers and layers of loveliness. <laughs> that is as good as any tiramisu I've had. Even as really. good as your mother's. Mom, you got some competition there. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, have a nice day.
that was amazing after that fantastic lunch and talking far too much we're now heading uh, out of town and uh, to a friend's house about an hour's uh, north of Santa Fe. So the last couple of days, we've been having great fun. We've been boondocking with a friend, Ariana's mother-in-law. Hi, Ariana. See you soon. <laughs> uh, so Flo is actually an artist. Yeah, it's unusual. I've never seen a, a cactus yeah. made out of glass before. Yeah, they're unusual. And it's like, they got like glass. These spikes are made of glass. So I blow the flowers in the body and then I put uh, the silicone glue. Yeah. And I put it on. And you, oh, these are all individually stuck on. And I sit and oh my stick these goodness. All in. I'm very happy with these pieces and it's, it's been a beautiful. great career and a great life. Flo, lovely. who's been looking after us here in New Mexico. And so we're going to give her the honor of sticking the New Mexico flag on the van. No there you go. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Thank you. You're That's welcome. amazing. Absolutely. Yeah. Wonderful. We'll come back. Oh, come we'll back. be back. We're doing a road, and we're going to do a road trip. Yeah. I'm going to meet them in Baja. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> we're going to make it happen. So Arizona, we did Tombstone and it was an incredible place. Oh, yeah, that was worth it. There you go, Arizona. We've got nice blue skies this morning. You'll see that the smoke from the fire behind us is obviously going in a different direction, but the fires are still going on. Today, we are heading north. We're continuing our adventure north, and uh, it's time to hit the road again, Moss Pete. Let's hit the road. <laughs> Why you got your mask on, love? <laughs> it's really dusty. I'm really struggling. There's been lots of tree pollen and dust and I'm struggling a bit. It's bad on the sinuses. One thing we found, Arizona, New Mexico, the dust that gets in your nose does make you feel very sinusy. So this is where we stopped at, the classical gas museum in Mambudo, New Mexico. It's open, it's free, it's got rusty stuff, shiny stuff and damn fine stuff. So I've come down to the rusty stuff. These are the older bits that need restoring. Look at these old pumps here. Can you imagine seeing gas pumps like that? I don't think I've ever seen a gas pump like that before. And this is what they would have looked like newer. Look, the gas, you would have seen it in the top in this glass uh, container here. It's a really fun and quirky place to come and have a little look around. Oh, that made me jump. I thought there was somebody stood there. <laughs> it really is one of those really cool places, just full of fun stuff. Oh, look, they've got lots of little toy cars here. Somebody from Roswell. <laughs> the place is so big, I've actually lost Marianne. She's here somewhere. I lost you. You lost me because he said, in there, there's the shiny stuff, the, the, <laughs> the really lovely stuff. Is it nice? Let's it's go and have a look. Beautiful. It's beautiful. It's so colourful and bright. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is so different from out the back. These are the bits he's restored. Oh, my goodness. What a fantastic place. How colourful is this? It's all lit up. So we've had the pleasure of meeting Johnny, the owner. Nice to meet you, sir. Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, can welcome. you please uh, approach him in the uh, proper title, please? Uh, sir John. Sir of John Norfolk. of Norfolk. He was actually explaining to us that he spent some time as a kid in the UK, went to one of the May Day uh, festivals, had a, uh, a bow and arrow contest, shot his arrow the furthest, 
and was knighted by the Queen of the May Day Festival. I, I'm sure you're a legend in the UK in Norfolk. Everybody in Norfolk. <laughs> Yeah, so that, yeah, that damn American won the Robin Hood. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been collecting all these wonderful things for? 30 years. And what started that? Why? Uh, I started hearing voices in my head and they wouldn't shut up. That's great. That's why I started traveling. <laughs> 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 Johnny was explaining that his superb collection has actually been rented out to movie companies. Many movies, uh, some that you may have heard of is No Country for Old Men, and then a very popular comedy called Wild Hogs. Oh, oh I love Wild Hogs. I oh. rented gas pumps. Oh, oh, gas pumps. Yeah. Oh, That's amazing. And look for next year a movie called Oppenheimer about the father of the atomic bomb. Uh, for the movie, they built a complete version, 1940s version of Los Alamos, where the bomb was invented. And of course, when they built this 1940s town, they needed a gas station. So who do you think they come to talk to? Sir John. Sir John. Sir John of North. <laughs> <laughs> That's love fantastic. That. I, love I love that. that. I also love the fact that you saw things going rusty and you saw parts of um, maybe your history or your childhood and you actually wanted to protect it, conserve it. That's part of my motivation is it represents an interesting part of our history. Mm -hmm. And the other thing, think about 30 years from now. All cars will be electric. We had we that. had that conversation on the way here yeah. when we, we saw when we saw that. you online. We said that. Yeah. yeah. This will become more obscure. As yes, time absolutely. Cars used to run on gasoline. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. very forward thinking. Britain, yes. Who has started the Dull Men's Club. The Dull Men's Club, I love that. In Great Britain. And he's come over to the United States and documenting the dullest people in America. <laughs> I was judged by the Dull Men's Club to be one of the 12 dullest people in America. I don't agree with that. We've had great fun here this morning. What a fantastic guy. Oh, I really, really enjoyed that. Definitely stop by if you're driving up in Northern New Mexico to, uh, to Taos. Wow, we just come over the top of the hill. Look at this view, it's just completely opened up. You can see the Rio Grande River Canyon there, look. We're gonna be driving around there. Mountains, there's snow on the top. So we're just coming through the city of Taos. And we could not come through without showing you how pretty this little town is. It's very nice. They've got all these like mud styled buildings. Adobe. Okay, quick pit stop. We've stopped off at the post office. Thank you very much, everybody, for buying our sticker pack. If you want a sticker pack, then they're available on the website treadtheglobe.com. <laughs> they sometimes take a while to get there because we post them from wherever we are and we're not always by a post office. So for those of you that have been waiting for your stickers... They're coming! They're coming. Sorry it took so long. Look at the size of that moth. Is it a moth? It's a moth or a butterfly. Look at that. Yeah. Our first American post office and it was a little bit confusing. She didn't have the stamps for the international post. They don't frank them over here like we do back home, so that was a bit confusing. Yes, but I need to see because they're smaller, they're... so they might need additional because they're too small. And then she said we had to have a return address on each envelope, and of course we haven't got an address. Uh, Everything needs a return address. So. In the end it worked, it they, worked. Just, yeah, they just did it anyway, but I think we definitely confused, and having so many stickers to so many different <laughs> envelopes to so many different countries, I don't think, uh, I don't think they're used to that. But anyway, there you go. Just driving down here, the houses are very, very unusual for us. They look, uh, I don't know. What, did, what do they look like? They're just unusual. Star Wars. Star Wars, Marianne's saying. Mexican movie, maybe. Yeah. So 
we're right next to the uh, that very cool looking bridge that we've just gone over is this little rest stop so we figured we would come and spend the night wow look at that so we're going to find a spot literally just around the corner here i think we should be able to park flat mm. what a fantastic place to park up the sun's just starting to go down it's golden now it's a perfect opportunity i think to go and have a look at the bridge there's not many views like that is there talking to the guard he actually told us that they put gates up because people have accidental falls off this area here but this bridge unfortunately is also known in the local area as the suicide bridge yeah what an amazing place it's not necessarily the structure of the bridge that's amazing it's that view wow it is so high I think the, uh, the guard said it was 650 feet. Oh, there you go. They got a crisis hotline there. In case anybody has any crazy ideas, but oh my goodness. Look how far down that is. Just to put it into perspective, that's the canyon and that's where Trudy is. And the sun's just going down. Oh, what a fantastic spot. day. Perfect spot and what a perfect ending to a perfect day. That's it.